Congratulations as well on the new album, by the way. Um, I mean, to record an entire album based on your favourite Disney tracks, that's pretty cool. It was very, very cool. Um, it was honestly the the most fun I've ever had in the recording studio because, you know, I think most most albums you do, they're very linear. Like you're going to do a pop album or you're going to do a, a standards album. This was just, Disney is so, like, it's the, the, the grand scope of things. It's like you can do anything in that studio. It's like different voices, different characters, you know, it was just so much fun. So they just go, right, which films? Because I know you chose mainly animated, you chose all animated films actually. Mm-hmm. How did you choose the films you did? That was the hardest part of the whole um, process. For me, I just kind of went to the songs that I loved as a child, but also the songs I that I actually sing to my son, because a lot of these are inspired by by lullabies that I actually sing my son to sleep with. Um, but I, I I wanted the album to be twofold. Five songs in the album are kind of more upbeat dance party so like we have a tradition of waking up and dancing every every morning and then there's five songs that are more of that lullaby kind of softer put them to sleep music nice. how old is revel now two two i oh, love it so has he seen any disney movies yet he absolutely has i mean he he wakes up every morning he goes toy story four toy story four <laughs> he loves toy story and i'm so happy because i never really you know is kind of beyond my generation i thought but you have this appreciation for Disney because I think it works on so many different levels where children are getting it on this one level. And, but then Disney is so smart. They have all these little kind of things that they put in there that, that parents are like, oh, uh, that's, I, I get what that really means. You know, it's, it's, it's fun and it's entertaining for all of us. And I can actually, it, Disney is one of those, those franchises that I can watch a movie over and over and over. And I do. Um, and not be bored. Yeah, no, it's yeah. so true. And I think every a lot of people's first movies were a Disney movie. Mine was Lady and the Tramp. What was yours? Mine was um, Jungle Book. And was it? Well, you've got a song from the Jungle Book in your album I as do, well. Yeah, Bare Necessities. Yeah, yeah, a great one as well. I love it. And also one that really gets everyone in the family singing along yeah. to. Yeah, two from Aladdin. Two from Aladdin. Two yes, from Aladdin. Yes, yes. But you've got one from Tarzan in You'll there. You'll be in as my well. heart. Yeah, which 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 is such a challenge because. You hear You'll Be In My Heart, obviously sung by Phil Collins, and it's so synonymous with Phil Collins. You're like, how do I make this my own? And that was another big challenge of doing this album because I have so much love and respect for that version of the song, but I want to put my own stamp on it. So um, I, I, I feel like I did. But I think there will be the Disney purists that are be like, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> no, I think I think your version is really great as well. And actually, I've seen quite a few. When I was prepping for this, I looked online. There's loads of videos of you performing this song. You do it so beautifully as well. I mean, it's it is gorgeous. I love that you actually you did that show on stage. Have you ever done the stage in the UK? Have you ever been on in London's West End? Um, I have never been on the West End uh, to do a show, but f- but it's something I've always dreamed of doing. Um, I was actually thinking of maybe hopping into, they're doing City of Angels, which is like my favorite uh, show of all time. I love that show. Um, but they're actually doing it right now, uh, starting in March, I think. Right. So. There's some seriously good shows here at the moment. I've seen a few, for yeah. sure. Well, you're over here at the moment for Greatest Dancer, aren't you? How is it? Are you settling into British life well? Yeah, I've been here for a month and a half already. So I've actually, I, I mean, it, <clears throat> the great thing is I got to do it last year as well. So I'm here for two months out of the year. Last year, we were kind of getting our bearings. And this year, we're like, let's live in a different part of town, you know? So I really want to do that each time I come is is live in a different area so I really get the full London experience. Because I think London's kind of like New York in a sense where if you live in, say, Chelsea, you kind of stick to your neighborhood, you know? That's that's how it is. You don't really maybe hear, oh, I'll go out to Shoreditch one night. But, but you know, I'm, I'm just trying to see what fits. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you picked up any British habits whilst you've been here at all? I need to stay off of the fish and chips, I'll tell you that much. Um, but habits... No, Cheryl taught you any kind of Geordie phrases? No, I I think Cheryl's trying to stay away from Geordie. No, no, she <laughs> she, I know, she, she doesn't... I don't feel like she sounds like she used to anymore. Um, in a beautiful way. I, I, I think she's still... But that's the thing about the different... I think territories within the UK, there's such a small country, but everyone has their own, you know, colloquialisms and yeah. just like, 
And you're Scottish, I can tell. I am Scottish. In fact, I heard that, well, I'm from Glasgow, but I heard that you have Scottish ancestry. I do. See? Um, so how, I mean, can you do a Scottish accent? I can. Oh, yeah. nice. It's, 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 uh, it's all right. It's, it's not great, but. Not yeah. bad. <laughs> okay, do you, I'm going to do a little Scottish quiz then. This is the, are you, aren't you? Do you know what Iron Brew is? Iron Brew. I don't. It, it sounds like a beer. Ooh, well, it's, it's better than that. Um, have you tried haggis? I have not. What? Have you on worn? On purpose, I think. <laughs> have you Have you worn a kilt? I have. Yes. You have. What did you I wear on? What did you wear under it? I wore some tidy whities. Oh, you see, you're meant to I wear know, anything. I know. You got to air it out. Um, in all your time singing, which has been, you know, you have done some amazing covers. Have you ever covered Five Hundred Miles by the Proclaimers? Negative. Oh my goodness, Matthew. This yeah, is... I might have done it at karaoke. Okay. But yeah. Did you know that I played a Scot a, a famous Scottish character in a Broadway musical? Wait, which one? J.M. Barry. Oh, Finding Neverland. Yeah. Which our Gary Barlow wrote, didn't he? Yes, he did. Can I just say, is it true that Elton John announced your engagement? Yes, it is. How how does that happen? Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm buddies with Elton. He was he was gracious enough to um, lend his voice and do a duet with me on my very first album, and we've and I'm such a hu huge supporter of um, of you know finding cures for AIDS and and I work with different um, AIDS charities and and research groups. So for me, you know, his mission we're we're so deeply connected through that mission. And he has this annual um, white tie and tiara ball he throws to, uh, for to raise money for AIDS research, and he, you know, we found out I mean, we got engaged like two weeks prior to that, and he kind of was like, "Let me, let me, I would love to sing a song for that." And and I didn't know it was going to be like the announcement, um, but basically that was the announcement. Him and Chris Martin from Coldplay, oh my God, that's so like, cool, sang the song, and it was just like this this moment of I, I couldn't even believe it. It was it was. Wild. Did, did you feel obliged to then invite them to the wedding? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we only had 40 people at the wedding. It was very, very, um, very small. What a great way to be, you know, to have your an wedding and engagement announced. Though, absolutely. Yeah, brilliant. it was, it was very special and a moment we'll always remember. Yeah. Um, there's a real trend at the moment for these musical biopics to be made. And I can't have you, the man who can sing, who can dance, who can act, to be here without saying, which one you would love to do because you mu there must be one that you know like uh, the Taron Edgerton Rocket Man was absolutely brilliant you had Bohemian Rhapsody there are more to come is there any that you have your there's one on? I was trying to do for a while uh, but I just uh, it just got kind of taken away I was I really wanted to do the Gene Kelly oh wow um, biopic but I his 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 widow owns the the estate and uh, she said that Gene actually never wanted anyone to do a biopic of him because it wouldn't be to his standards. Um, so I have complete respect for, I mean, I agree. I, I think he was, he was a one of a kind talent and, uh, but it was something I was so looking forward to kind of really trying and getting in there. I feel like if there's anyone, I feel like I am probably the person to do that role. Um, but it's not meant to be. So, oh. oh well. No, I'll, I'll figure out the next one. I guess there'll be it'll be yeah. fake because there'll yeah. be another one yeah. coming along. That's yeah. it. And um, listen, thank you so much for that. Good luck with the album Disney Dreaming with Matthew Morrison. Thank you. Thank you. It's been lovely to meet you. Likewise.